about the chr or character built-in function in Python 3. Let's start with the doc. So chr takes an integer or i as the input and will return a string that represents a character whose unicode is the integer i. So say we put 97 in as the argument, it'll return the string a. Um, this is the inverse of ord ord and I'll put that to the test as well. It says that the valid range for the argument is from 0 through 1,114,111 and uh, I'll, s I'll take a look at that as well. I actually want to start with the range. So we know that we can go from 0 to I believe it was 1,114,111. And let's say we try to go one more than that. Boom, not in the range. So I guess we've sort of defined where we're at. Actually, what happens if we do uh, like negative one? Yeah, that's not going to work either. So basically the range is from zero to one million and whatever that is. So we know from the docs that ORD is basically the inverse of CHR. And I just want to put that to the test, see what that looks like. And you'll see that the output of it is the zero, basically the opposite output. So if we use, say, CHR with that max number, one million and whatever, we can throw that into ORD and we get the number back. So we know that we can throw numbers like 97, 98, whatever, into the CHR function and we'll get string representations back. But I want it to be super clear where it comes from. So we have a Unicode chart with all the decimals. I think most people actually know that 0 to 127 is the basic Latin alphabet, but there's way more as well. So just starting with the basic Latin alphabet, we can go down to the, the 97 that was from the docs example. We say that's the Latin small letter A, 98 is B, etc. The ones higher up are uppercase and special symbols and whatnot. Uh, you know, I like the dollar signs, so we can come in here, throw the 36 in, we get dollar signs. Um, but let's move beyond the Latin alphabet. What do we want to do? Uh, Arabic school. Um, so let's say we throw in 1577 in here, and boom, we'll get Arabic letter as the output. All right, guys, so I set up two functions, test function and test function two. Um, and we're going to take a look at the ORD and CHR built-in functions. And since we know that with their inverse, we're going to basically convert a string into Unicode characters and then back into a string. So say we pass the string, uh, Python is amazing. Um, so that's going to go to this first function. We're going to loop over that and append all the Unicode characters to this list. And then uh, in this second function, we're gonna take that list and convert it back to a string. So let's see what that looks like. Cool, so I'm printing out on line five here, the results of the first test function. And this is Python is amazing in Unicode characters. And then in the second function, we're looping over this list here, and then we're converting it back into the string. And line 12, you see Python is amazing. So that's it. You see how CHR and ORD are um, inverse. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching.